I really tried hard to do the subtitles for Clarkson's Farm 2 trailer. And this is how I got on. Let me explain. Have you ever watched Clarkson's Farm 2 and found that the subtitles say something like Gerald speaks indistinctly, or simply three dots? It's annoying, right? So I thought I'll try and work out what Gerald says. You've got to click on the link below to see where I'm talking about in the actual trailer and I'll do the voices as my interpretation of what they say. But I need your help, so listen carefully. So Gerald's first appearance in the trailer is at 21 seconds, where I believe he says, so I could do another bout and you can cope with one load of grain, can't you? If you can't go on, you know what I mean? That's Gerald with his sort of West Country Oxfordshire accent. If you think he says differently, let me know in the comments below. Now, Gerald's second appearance is when Jeremy, Caleb and Gerald are having some beers at the house. So not only do we have his indistinguishable accent now, but he's also getting a bit tipsy. This one is really tricky to work out and this is the one I probably need your help. If you go to two minutes and five seconds in the trailer, you will find Gerald saying something like this. Yeah, a couple of those of your mouth with pickled onions or something. It's like the Agberg, whatever it is, isn't it? And what does it mean when he says Agberg? I had to do some research. Yeah, could it be the brand of nuts and bolts you can buy from Amazon? But I doubt it. So I think it's more like Hagberg, but he's saying Agberg because he's dropping the H. Now, Hagberg is defined according to the site yara.co.uk as the following. I shall read it. The Hagberg falling number is the measure of a specific enzyme which is used to determine suitability of wheat for bread making, with higher numbers preferred by millers. Effective crop nutrition management, particularly of nitrogen and potassium, can help increase the Hagberg falling numbers. Now, still I have no idea what that means because I'm not a farmer, but my guess is that it is somehow loosely connected with what Gerald was talking about because he knows about farming. If there's one thing Gerald knows about, it's farming. What do you think he says? Let me know in the comments so we can compare what people think he actually says. Maybe you're an expert on farming yourself and you can tell us what you think he actually says. And it's really interesting. And it's what is amazing is his accent is 100% authentic. You could not get a more authentic rural English countryside accent than Gerald's. Whereas Jeremy, well, he speaks more like in this broadcast voice, a bit like this. So this is Jeremy Clarkson now. You know, when he goes on Top Gear and the Grand Tour and he's driving around the world and he's saying things like, yes, the torque on this car is just unbelievable. And on that bombshell. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you can help us out in deciphering what Gerald says. I want to see these comments below. I want to see you like, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel for more accent videos if you enjoyed this one. And thanks, John. And on that bombshell, we can finish today.